So today we're going to be doing a relook for the goth family and um they're a pretty big part of the sims um they've been in i think all of them i think maybe um so yeah they're a really big uh part of the whole game um and yeah so there's four people to relook them i guess um so to make them look um not better but like a best not a better style but like a different kind of style sort of so we just changed bella's hair to like a long plaited hair i guess and yeah so we are just going to be choosing her everyday outfit um and she's gonna look so beautiful um and yeah i hope you guys do enjoy this video obviously um uh yeah so i was looking for like a red kind of dress just to suit her kind of style because she used to have a red dress with tights um so in the end i end up going with um the dress this dress without the leggings because on the side there is like that little strand thing as you can see and but i do not do the tights because you can see them on the side so i don't end up doing that and yeah so um so um while i'm um, doing this voiceover i had an idea about doing um like reading their kind of um their kind of what's it called um their description of their family and it says um the goth family appears again in the sims 4 living in willow creek family consists of an adult mortimer which this isn't the actual description in the game but this is a description of them bella who in this incarnation is younger than her husband starting out as a young adult a teenager cassandra and alex who is a child the sims 4 is officially considered an alternate universe from the previous instalments of the game which explains the age discrepancy of the characters compared to previous releases the family has 45,500 simoleons in household funds and lives in a spacious and exp expensively decorated three-story house named the Ophelia Villa maybe this is the first goth home belonging to the core family members not to feature a graveyard on the premises like all other homes belonging to the Goth family. There is no TV, television or stereo on the lot. The only electronic equipment is a tablet computer found in Cassandra's bedroom and the family's personal cell phones. So yeah, that's a little bit about the Goth family. Um, but there is a storyline behind Bella. Um, I think she went missing in one of the previous games and mysteriously came back or s something along the lines of that so yeah that is a kind of that's basically her story um so yeah um Anyway, so as you can see, I've nearly finished Bella um, and I haven't changed her to look more pretty or because it's all like what your kind of style is, um, but I've just made her more kind of like more, more updated for my kind of preferences that's the word preferences for what she looks like and yeah um 
Um, so I have started a new kind of world, which I am just like deleting everything in the world, like all the lots, all the people, and just making a brand new world with brand new people. And I started that on like the 25th of January. And I literally haven't even got that far, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, I will make a video on, like, the release of that. Um, and if you want me to, like, be able to, so it's downloadable, just comment on the video when I, ne when I like, post it. Not quite sure when it's going to come out. Probably a long while because it's very hard to, like, change. But I am doing that and I thought that you guys should know. So, yeah, um, as you can see, we finished Bella, and we are now on to Mortimer. Um, so Mortimer is slightly older than Bella, as I said before in the description, so she is slightly older. Uh, but yeah, he's slightly older, not she. Um, and he's cheerful, creative, and a bookworm and yeah so we've nearly finished him as well we don't really change him much but you know oh well um so um we have just moved on to Cassandra, and i really wanted her to change not like too much um but i did want her to change well not too much but quite a little <laughs> Um, like, before she had the kind of geeky kind of vibe, and like a loner, and yeah, she's got a gloomy and creative trait. So I wanted to change her a bit, to make her more like, teenagery, and make her less gloomy, I guess, like, by the style of her looks. She is still gloomy and creative, but I do wanted to, I did want to change, like, her kind of outfit to make her seem not as gloomy um so yeah I actually like the way she turned out um I think that one of the theories or something that people have on Cassandra is that she might be taken after Bella and all sorts um so yeah that might be something I'm not quite sure, you would have to read up about her. Um, like, I haven't done many Let's Plays, as you all know, um, but I'm going to start doing them again. Um, and, yeah. So, um, we are just making Cassandra, and we are already on her nightwear. So, what she wears to sleep. <laughs> and... Yeah, I think that she has changed her style a lot. Like, I don't think she wears anything she would have worn before. Um, and to be honest, I prefer this kind of style. Um, comment if you do or you don't. Because I think with this kind of style, it's either you like it or you don't. And, yeah. So that kind of stuff, like... Um, What's it called? Um, I think it's mustard. Um, it's one of those foods that you just like it or you hate it. This one's like you like it or you don't. So you don't have to hate it, but you don't like it. I don't know. It's just like mm, just different, and not only be, not a lot of people wear this kind of stuff. Um, and for the younger male, um, as you can, as you will see. Um, I did struggle a lot on what to get him and what to give him in the kind of style wear because I don't really have a lot for the character so um like I don't really have many male child stuff or many toddler stuff whatsoever so yeah I would have to change that soon um but yeah I really like the way Cassandra looked and turned out um and yeah so as you will see now i've literally only got two kind of cc and they're both girl kind of style hairs um so 
like the hair is very non cc um and it isn't the nicest thing i've ever seen but it's the nicest thing i've seen out of the whole thing so yeah the stars are very similar to each other and it's very bad to be honest um but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video um please like if you enjoyed it comment who your favorite character was um subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell so you never miss the next time i post um and yeah i guess all i've got to say is bye